Leslie. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. If you're not new, hey girl, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a fall cooking video with you guys. I wanted to cook the dinner, but also a little dessert fall style because let me tell you guys i actually tried making this video yesterday and i burnt dinner oh my god i know it was so so you guys real quick real quick dinner was a fail today i burnt the fall dinner oh my god <laughs> um i was in the room with kai because he had fell asleep and I was editing in there and I was like, yeah, I put the chicken in like at this time, like I should have enough time. And then I come back and I'm like, oh, the chicken looks done and cooked, you know? And all the vegetables that I put at the bottom are burnt, like charred, seriously. Like that's what happens when you're distracted. That gets but I was burnt. actually really excited about that dinner. But I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let that fail stop me today. I really wanted to do this video for you guys. Because one, I wanted to make albonigas because to me, albonigas is like a comfort food. It's easy. And I'm also going to be pairing them with some frijoles. Also, because I want to stay in the fall theme, you guys, I was thinking about doing a low-carb pumpkin bread. Okay, doesn't that sound amazing? I love Starbucks pumpkin loaf, you guys. But honestly, there's only one Starbucks around my area and it's always jam-packed and I hate the line. So I was like, you know what? I want to try making it and even better making it low carb right so if you're interested in learning how to make that with me go ahead and keep on watching but don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy cooking with me videos and if you hear kai he's actually in the background he knows mommy is working right now so he's just watching me for right now do a different vibe a different setup that way you guys can see my kitchen now in my videos while i'm cooking and stuff so, um, yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, I hope you do. Let's go ahead and get some cooking. Hey guys, so we are going to need eggs. Some brown sugar. Cinnamon. We're going to need some pure vanilla. Some pumpkin spice. Some maple syrup. Almond flour baking powder, baking soda, and of course some pumpkin. 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 Also going to need a butter and cream cheese because I want to try doing like a little bit of cream cheese in the loaf. scramble our eggs so we're just gonna add it in slowly So I'm going to do about one half a teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of maple syrup, maybe two teaspoons. So now that I have basically all the wet stuff in there, wait, let me put my eggs up because it's going to bother me that they're out. I have a teaspoon of baking powder, I have a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, you can do two. I did one hefty spoon of pumpkin spice, two of cinnamon, 
also going to do brown sugar. This is what's going to like sweeten it up for us. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of packed brown sugar. I went ahead and did three instead. It smells already so good. Oh, and also let's add a pinch of salt. That way we can just, uh, you know. Oh, also by the way, you guys, let's go ahead and preheat the oven. Now I'm gonna open up my pumpkin. We're going to do half a cup of pumpkin, you guys. And the rest, I'm gonna keep it for later on this week, you guys. I'm going to be making a pumpkin coffee, so it'd be delicious. So now I'm gonna add this in here. I already have my pan with butter in there. I'm gonna go ahead in with the HEB almond flour and I'm gonna go in with one and a half cups of flour. To our wet ingredients, so that's one cup. I'm gonna go in with half a cup. Smells super good too, you guys. My arms are killing me because yesterday I worked out my arm. All right, this looks delicious and ready. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. pumpkin loaf bake now for like 40 minutes at 350 it can depend because i feel like sometimes because of the egg it can take a little bit longer to bake we don't want it to be like mushy or anything because of the egg and the pumpkin so if check it out 40 if it's still not cooked check a toothpick if it's still a little too wet go ahead and leave it in a little longer but i'm gonna go ahead and get started on the albondigas the thing that we're gonna need i need to go outside is i want to add mint to these albondigas now these albondigas you guys they are going to be like authentic mexican but also i have added in like some people do like adding mint to the albondigas and some people don't i personally love mint not only because it's delicious but also because it's really really good for you especially if you are a person with pcos like myself it naturally balances out your hormones so i'm definitely going to be adding in the mint to my albondigas but another thing i'm going to be adding into my broth while the albondigas is cooking is ginger the ginger root has been something that i recently started adding into my caldos and my broths because i actually love the way it enhances the soup and the broth i feel like it tastes like lemon like a nice fresh lemon i would love for you to try it out if you also suffer from pcos try to find different ways natural medicine to your food you know what i'm saying and i feel like by cooking with it cooking with ginger cooking with mint cooking with turmeric cinnamon those 
things are naturally going to help balance your hormones so with pcos like i said it's really really important to me this meal is going to be a perfect pcos happy meal because anyways if you are enjoying this video so far don't forget to give me a thumbs up and we'll come back and check on the pumpkin loaf i'm gonna go put them to bed and then i'm gonna go ahead and get all the ingredients out so we can start making that bondigas and cook together my god you guys that pumpkin bread smells so good i seriously cannot wait to eat it i'm gonna wait for it to start cooling off that way i can like cut into it and show you how it looks but i just got all the ingredients out for the sopa de albondigas so we're gonna go ahead and start doing that but the first thing i need to do you guys is drain out the frijoles <coughs> So when you're making frijoles, you guys, you always want to leave them soaking, preferably overnight or at least for a few hours, like four hours, four to six hours. And some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some cumin. Some salt and pepper. fourth of a cup of a rice and also some mint you guys that we're gonna chop up So guys, the next step is making the little bolitas. Um, we can start making them while the water starts boiling. And then we got to make our broth for the soup. Also, you could start getting your vegetables ready as well, like anything that you want to cut up and stuff. So I'm going to start cutting up all my veggies. I'm going to add in some calabaza, carrots, cayote, some corn. I'm not going to use all of them. I'm going to, I might just use two.
So I have the broth ready here. It already smells so good. I'm gonna just go ahead and pour it into our pot. And we're gonna let that start simmering together. I'm also gonna add in las hojas de laurel in there. So messy when I start cooking over here, you guys, seriously. Um, I got all my veggies chopped. Just gotta start chopping the corn and everything else. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the little balls because the water is already boiling. So you just wanna get a nice little, a nice little size ball and start rolling it, you guys. Can make big ones little ones i like to do small medium and tiny ones as well just because i like the little surprise of a little little ball I'm gonna go ahead and add in the seasoning. I would normally add in one tablespoon of the tomate bouillon and one of the beef, but I actually ran out of the beef one already, so I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using tomate y pollo instead. But if you have the beef one, that will taste so much better, you know, with the beef. But gotta do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> It smells so, so good. So I'm gonna cut it now and take a taste test with you guys. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. It's super, super moist. Mm. This is so good. Oh my gosh. So delicious. And here it is, you guys. Delicious. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video cooking with me. Cooking the pumpkin cream cheese loaf bread. That was amazing, you guys. And also the caldo de albondigas that came out super, super delicious. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.